So we will have one CD, we have one copy of Fearless Change, and then this is a new book for beginners to Agile. I reviewed it and I have a little comment on the back. It's a very good introduction, a summary of the values of Agile. It's called A to XP, the Agile ABC book. So I'm going to put them right here and we'll get a, the CD, right? Or maybe we're going to play it a little bit after the talk. Okay. All right. Great. So we don't need to look at me. We need to look at this. Asked, can you give us a book that changed your life? And usually the questioner has in mind a book that I might have read or a book that I might have studied. And since I've been asked that question many times, uh, I now have a good answer for it. And the answer is always the same. The book that had the largest impact on my life was not a book I read. It was a book I wrote. <laughs> this is a book I started writing with my good friend Mary Lynn Manns in 1994. And what we were doing at the time was trying to bring in patterns and scrum in 1994 into organizations. And as we were doing that, we noticed that we were doing some of the same kinds of things and we thought these could be patterns. And those patterns have been reviewed and we've gotten feedback on those patterns from people around the world. They're patterns for introducing ideas into organizations. Now the book wasn't published until 2005. So in that 10-year period, I went from a person I would describe as a technical person who was a designer, who had a PhD in computer science, master's degrees in computer science and mathematics, bachelor's degrees in chemistry, a very technical person, to all of a sudden being interested in people. And realizing that the world was a lot more complicated than I thought wasn't so easy to convince people of good ideas, that it really wasn't related to techniques that I thought I knew about convincing people. So from 2005 until today, I now concentrate on learning more about people and how people think. 